Scientists consider Earth's near miss with an asteroid two weeks ago has added urgency to efforts to track potential planet killers that might be hurtling our way. And now asteroid watchers have a sophisticated new tool to identify a problem while there's still time to deal with it. Michelle Holden has this story. Eleanor Helene is what you might call an asteroid hunter. She has spent the last two decades peering into outer space, looking for things that move, like asteroids and comets. As we find these objects uh, ever so much more close to the Earth, yes, it gets your attention. And what's getting Helene's attention these days is this. It's called a Near-Earth Asteroid Tracking System, or NEAT. This is how it works. There's a camera on a telescope operating at the summit of Mount Haleakala on Maui. It captures wide sky coverage and detects extremely faint objects and then sends those pictures back here to computers at JPL. From the NEAT system, Already, we are finding thousands of asteroids, and uh, roughly half of those are new, have never been seen before. And now, sitting at her computer, Helene is able to get the latest information from outer space, such as the day, date, position, and motion of objects. The NEAT system was developed here at JPL. It's getting worldwide attention because it marks the beginning of a new program that focuses on the discovery and tracking of comets and asteroids. Helene realizes people rarely think about the speeding chunks of rock and ice in space until there's publicity on incidents like the one last week. The asteroid called the 1996 JA-1 whizzed by Earth, missing the planet by 280,000 miles. That's a near miss by astronomical standards. Helene says history has shown us we cannot ignore the threat that asteroids pose. We uh, feel that about 65 million years ago that the dinosaurs and other biota uh, were uh, extinguished, snuffed out, uh, due to a, an asteroid roughly six miles or 10 kilometers. And we want to avoid having this happen to human beings. And technology like this will help ensure we're paying attention to outer space before it's too late. In Pasadena, Michelle Holden, KCAL 9 News. The NEAT system monitors the nighttime sky once a month for 12 months.